terms of what? We don't do the national budget because mas may importante ABS. We don't do the taal relief kasi mas importante ABS. Bakit ang Channel 5 at Channel 7 wala masyadong reklamo? Halos wala nga eh. At na-approve ka agad. So wag nyo isisi sa amin bakit mabilis sila. Tignan nyo bakit yung sa inyo naiipit. Baka naman may kasalanan din kayo. Diba? Sa akin ha, personal opinion ko, kung kinumper mo yung hearing natin sa Senate, sa Senate, nagpila kung gano'ng kagaling ng ABS-CBN. Eh. Remember, your franchise was pending between the 40 in the 16th Congress since 2014. For two years, once lang sila nag-hearing. Panahon ni President Aquino yun. Okay? Liberal ang majority nun. O, wala naman kayong sinabing dribble ng mga liberal yung franchise ng ABS. O, in the 17th Congress, three years, hindi rin na take up. Wala naman nagsabing dribble. So ngayon, sinasabi, just because kaming dalawa ni Chico ay mahilig mag-basketball, dribble namin. You know? I respect people who think that way, but it's absolutely not true. I watched one time sa inyong broadcast, bakit ang 5 at 7 ay mabilis na pasa? Ibabalik ko ngayon sa management ng Channel 2. Kaya sinabi ko mag-soul searching kayo. Bakit ang Channel 5 at Channel 7 wala masyadong reklamo? Halos wala nga eh. At na-approve ka agad. So wag nyo isisi sa amin bakit mabilis sila. Tignan nyo bakit yung sa inyo naiipin. Baka naman may kasalanan din kayo. ba? And that's why tayo maghihiring. Para malaman natin kung meron o wala. So if it's just the natural friction between politicians and the news, then we should grant the franchise. But if there are violations of law that threatens our democracy, then the committee or the Congress has to do something about it. Why didn't he speak out against them? Because he didn't think they were biased. No, it's not one person, Christian. Uh, let me ask you this, Christian. 2019 election, how many shows did you have on the case of me and Lani? Apat, no? You only invited us once, three times kalaban namin. So walang bias kayo doon? Si Swan Singh, mag-asawa, congressman from two districts, you didn't have a hearing about them. Yung Albano, mag-asawa, you didn't have a hearing against them. Are you saying to me now, there was no bias there? Four, four shows, ah, Four shows. Oh, so you don't think that I should ask that to you during the hearings? Para makasagot ka rin at makavent din ako nung angle ko. GMA 7 did not have four shows. I don't mind criticism. I get criticized every day. Diba? But I mind bias. Because media can make or break political careers. But media should be neutral. You should not be for or against any speaker, should candidate, or any candidate sa distrito. You should not have presidential candidates. And in 2020 and 2016, yan ang allegation sa ABS-CBN na nakialam kayo kung sinong gusto nyo maging presidente. Well, ako, uh, regarding Tony Gadon's petition, I've appealed to the anti-ABS na if you think ABS was unfair at certain points in history, let's not be unfair to them now. Let's have a hearing and let's throw the accusations directly to them and let them answer. So it makes no sense that if you're accusing someone of being unfair, then you be unfair to them. Diba? So, sa akin, pinakiusap ko sa ating kababayan, please don't stop us from doing our job. But it's his right. He's a lawyer, he's a citizen of this country, he didn't take my advice, gusto niyang masara kagad ang ABS. But until the Supreme Court tells us that we should stop, and I don't think they will, because it's part of our congressional responsibilities and duties and constitutional mandate to uh, look into uh, and, and grant franchises, no? So, siyempre, pag sinabi ng Supreme Court na uh, bawal yung ginawa ng Congress, ibang usapan yon. But until that point in time, Attorney Gadon has one opinion of uh, in 110 million Filipinos and we don't share his opinion. Uh, along suggestion ko, interview niyo sila in the next few days. Kasi siyempre, iba yung context na dito sila tinatanong, kapaligid sa kanilang Kongreso. So, they might feel that there's an infringement. But I read the NTC letter and especially the, the answer of Secretary Ivara, very clear, eh? an applicant who has previously granted the franchise by Congress could be considered a qualified applicant within the purview of the MC and could accordingly be issued a provisional authority to operate, subject to Congress' eventual uh, disposition of the franchise renewal uh, bill. Uh, conclusion, 
Based on the foregoing discussion, there is sufficient equitable basis to allow broadcast entities to continue operating while the bills for the renewal for the respective franchise remain pending with Congress. That's why not to allay any fears, if it is an attack on ABS-CBN or on the franchise, what the committee will do is simply deny sarado ang ABS-CBN. Diba? We will not go through all this effort and these new cycles just so that isara. No. We are sincere in wanting credible, fair hearings, objective hearings on this. So personally, I don't see any reason for ABS to stop broadcasting uh, when we go on break or when the franchise uh, expires. No, Until my final disposition nila, meaning granted or hindi granted yung bagong franchise.